Showtime! It's your boy Zap King of the Giant Robots, and welcome to another unboxing. We have many a package today. Some of them much heavier than others, and some more expensive. As such, because I have so many packages here that came in relatively short order, and I'm seeing that my headpiece is all uh, not even. Ha! Of course, why did they take that tuning? We're gonna check out what should be the most expensive and important package I've ever had. Uh, hit Japan. This is not what I thought it was. Which means this is the one. Because this, buy five of these things, get Hit Japan socks. Bruh, I've bought a bunch of stuff from me already. I'm going to contact them and see if that's a retroactive offer or not. Hit Japan is an eBay store that I purchased a lot of my Robot Wars collection from. And now that I've gotten all of the games, barring one, it's time to start collecting data. This, once I get all of the saran wrap off of here, uh, extra for protection. I apologize for the noise. We have here. So I'm not going to keep that part because it's not organized. We have Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 3 by this company. On the spine it does say SoftBank, so you are now the SoftBank book. Over here we have Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 1 made by a different company. Chi Gokeki Dohen. Chi Jogeki Dohen. I think that's the Cosmo, translated as Cosmo Quake. We're going to call this the Wonder Swan, but. Uh, Kebunsha. Two. In 2000, Kebunsha printed in Japan. The Kebunsha book. Now, it's important to designate these two books as specific brands. Because we'll come back to that. So, I thought these were my books. But it does feel a bit light. So, I believe this is from... And this was a little sus when I ordered it. The Avocado King. I mean, that, that's just the name the guy used on PayPal. Okay, before, before we get to that, if you use the newspaper, is there anything of interesting in a Japanese newspaper? There's an ongoing game of Go. I mean, that's not too interesting, but it's a thing. Like, nothing in particular stands out. Hmm. Data on the moon. This page had the weather. Over here. We're going to call this the noisy culture segment. Oh, 
let's do let's think of value here. Let's think of particular interest to us. Since it's not as though I can read Japanese anyway. Package, go. And all the ceram wrap. Bubble wrap. Protective coating wrap. It better be protected. This is the most expensive Super Robot Wars game in existence. This is Super Robot Wars 2 for the Famicom Mini Game Boy Advance cartridge. I need to grab my Game Boy at hand, my Game Boy adjacent player, which is actually my DS. Because we sure as fuck need to make sure that it works. But I also want to show you. This this the, 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 the box is smaller than my hand. And then this comes out to plastic. We have this. This pops out. Here's a piece of cardboard in here. That's probably just representing a spacer and it's in the wrong order. Yeah, I would put this cardboard like on the back side as a spacer. I wonder what that is. That's something I want to look into. And here we have... I'm going to guess this is the, the manual. A pulled out manual for Super Robot Wars. Which is weird because there was a square in here that's completely blank. Is that like the last page of the manual? They just had to rearrange everything? I would have to again go and grab the Robot Wars 2 manual. Tiny box. Literally fits in the palm of my hand. It's still, I, I, ha no, I have to grab it. I'm sorry. At least it's like easy access. Okay. So we're already slightly fitting. Right. Here's the NES, the Famicom, and the Famicom Mini Game Boy Advance cartridge. Here is the original cartridge that works on the Famicom, and here's our Game Boy Advance cartridge. My understanding was that for the collection of the Famicom mini games is that the color of the cartridges, the, the color of the Game Boy Advance cartridges, was to match that of the original Famicom cartridges. Which, I got one of these recently for my roommate. And the original Castlevania came in yellow. Or at least... The GBA cartridge came in the other. The top screen of my DS is messed up. I own the most expensive Super Robot Wars game, and it cost me $800 USD. I could end the video like this. Not. I could. I should have. And that was frickin' Nepshibu Sidebuster.
ネプーシップーサイバースーター So I'm gonna try to mostly quickly put this away The novelty And the thing is is that I never needed to own this This like Super Robot Wars 2 and one, and I think three, all been tra fan translated. They all exist, but now I'm just, I guess, boasting and bragging. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, on the one hand, I'm so happy to own this, and on the other hand, I kind of feel like I'm being too boastful about it. Like, look what I got, and you don't have this, but it's not like that at all. It's like. Look what I have! Behold, I have the collection. I own them all. I own them all. I guess all I have left to get is books. So all this aside, moving along. Moving along before I start sobbing and crying like a child again. Out of the way. I'm keeping you on hand for reasons. We get to the heavy one. Your last. This big heavily taped slab of cardboard. I don't think it's even like originally a box. Because of the way it's all folded over. Now, a friend of mine, Commissar Bear, has told me that he too has a, a, a waning interest in collecting the Robot Wars books. At least a few of them. Books are heavy. Okay, cool. Cool. Now, we here in North America like our big books. So when it comes to strategy guides, they're usually magazine sized, not novel sized. So in my head, my brain keeps thinking, oh, I have a stack of books that are this big. I have two stacks of books that are this big. Let's see what's in bag number one. First we have... The Dengeki Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 1. So here we go, we've got the one, the uh... What I call it? Kebunsha book. We have the Dengeki book. And we have the SoftBank book. Now we're seeing a pattern here because I also, for Robot Wars 64 on the shelf, we have Dengenki um, SoftBank Publishing. And then I have a third one. I'm not going to keep just getting distracted. We have... In this plastic that's going to come off. Plastic is a little shit. By no fault of real plant shop on eBay. We have the original Super Robot Wars Compact, the Dan Genki book. So we're gonna set you just just back here. Next up, Super Robot Wars Compact Two, Part Two. This is the huh. This one on the back doesn't immediately say that it's. The same, but I mean, clearly it's the, the same style, right? This is Studio Shaft, and it's got the same style. I need more data. I mean, now I have the data. Hmm. Almost the same brand. We have Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 3 Final. Kibuncha. Here's Kibuncha book. So we have two Kibuncha books. 
and we also have a Studio Shaft book. Which means this is a fourth style of book. I have problems. I mean, these problems, not these problems. We have here. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, here we go. I'll take the slide cover off. Super Robot Wars Compact. A different book. I'm not seeing any immediate identifier as publisher. Now, what would be cool as I, I flip through this and I get it. Uh, where is Compact One? Is if one of these just so happened to be using the Wonder Swan color as a reference point. But now we have two books for Compact. But what's strange is when I went looking for it, I only found one book for Compact 3. We have here the SoftBank Compact 2, Part 2. So here's Part 3, Part 2. You can tell. Ah, this is a thick one. A thick one. We have a different Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden book. Ah, this one produced by SoftBank. Now, this could be a sign of age, but there is a bit of embossing going on across the, the silver parts of the cover here. But we can also see on the side that there is some, you know, wear and tear on them. And I'm not against the wear and tear. I plan on using them. Sort of. I'm, I've already played Alpha Gaiden on the channel. Alpha Gaiden, you are going to go right on. And you are a mystery. Meaning we have a second bag of books. Now the big problem, the biggest problem I have right now is I have nowhere to put these yet. I will find a space. I will find a way. I always do. We have the Dengeki Super Robot Wars Compact 2 Part 2 book. So here's Part 1, Part 2. Good job, Dengeki. Over here we have Compact 2 Part 1. The SoftBank version. So there's the full set there. We have. Oh, oh, okay. I almost got super confused. I almost got really confused and upset with myself. I thought I was doing great. We have the SoftBank Robot Wars Compact. So again, books being used. Three different companies doing the same books. As I flip through once again, I hope to see any sort of flash of color in the screenshots. But I don't know. So we have comprehensive crossover data for Compact. Compact 2. Who's next? That's a big bug. You're not supposed to be nice. Hmm. Hmm. Something's not right here. Compact 2 Part 1. Compact 2 Part 2. It's also Compact 2 Part 2. They're different books. This is Part 1. This is Part 3. So, the quest continues because now I have what I thought was the second in this set, and I don't have the third for the Dengeki set, which the hunt continues. It could very well be that... So, these were mostly gathered from eBay. There are other places I can procure the books, but 
these weren't there. Anyway, moving forward, we have Robot Wars Impact, which is all of, all of this. What, what company? Can we identify who did this? Can we get something? Anybody? Just some kind of words in English. Just looking for anything in English. And of course, as there's never just one, another Impact Bible. Uh, this one also does not have any immediate ah den genki den geki extra n in there den geki maps at an angle I kind of like that I like that kill silly motherfucker Toby Kage yeah I mean, they can tell whomever's working on Impact on the Robot Wars Wiki. You can cross-reference me. I'm here for you. I am here for the Robot Wars community. So that's that. We have a full set here for Compact 2. A full trio of Compact games. You know what? I think this is what I thought happened. Meaning, I need to find... I'm missing books. This is fine, though. I know where to get them. It's just now... I know what to look for. Sort of. I have a point of going forward. And presently, no point of where to put them. Whole lot of packaging I need to discard. Lastly, um, ah, found it. We have a small package from Hobby Search, which is where I like to get my robots. And this is certainly robots, just not your standard fair, because we have. Gundam, Gunpla Package Art Collection. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty packs of singular card Gunpla box art plus a wafer cookie. And on the back here, it says that there's quite the lineup. A possibility of 30 plus 2 super rare bonuses. And these are all based on, I think, Master Grade package art. This is, oh. Collection number 7. And despite the light, what you can see there is the um, Build Divers Super Gatai. I forgot what they called that thing. So we're going to open one on camera. Now I didn't know these were pretty tasty wafers. So we have standard wafer bar, chocolate filling. Very crunchy, very tasty. I'm going to set that right there. And what we got... Ooh! There's some promo stuff for SD Gundam World Heroes. Uh, barcode will probably take you to the Japanese site. And we got... Oh, wow. I wonder how old this one is. 
the 144 skit full colors plastic model there is just simply painting the FC and best collection model for you. SCM. This is this is the original 144 gun cannon. Dude. Dude, I wonder if... I wonder if this is one of the rare ones. Bro. No, this, this is all high grade box art. It's all high grades. And a few master grades. This... This is a no grade. Like, look at the back of that. Sorry. Whoa. That's. <laughs> Today is a good day for robots. And I thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more Giant Robot Antics, collections, video games, and more. And as always, 